Yeah, I guess it's that assume assume breach mindset, the kind of zero mm-hmm. trust mindset applied to the server side. I mean, a lot of zero trust is about not really protect, no, not trusting the, the client yeah. that's connecting to the service. But this is flipped around the other way, isn't it? It's kind of not even trusting the provider or the infrastructure underlying what you're... you're yes, saying. exactly. You know that the zero trust, yeah, one of the main uh, zero trust tenets is to say that we, we are going to break the castle and moat model. Yep. and replace the firewalls with uh, identity-based, for example, uh, protections. And here we, it's it's the, the return of the Jedi. It's the return of Castle and Moats because the cloud config, uh, confidential computing does exactly this. It's, 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 it's a castle around your workload somehow. Uh, so it, it has to be for very purpose-built use cases, honestly. Yeah, they're kind of outposts, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, rather than rather than we build a big castle, we'll have one of them, and it's going to control a whole swathe of land. We're going yeah. to have lots of little towers and yeah. those towers are going to secure the specific things we need to secure, like a bridge here or a particular kind of resource mm-hmm. there. So I think that that's um, it's a kind of dialectic, isn't it? it? Sort of comes back yeah. around, we've got the same model, but it's applied in a new way, in a new context. And sort of zero trust makes space for that uh, to exist as a, as a new architecture. 